Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I have a little bit of a confession to make. Um, this is not the first time I've recorded this episode. Um, this, uh, actually, uh, in, in, in all honesty, uh, this is going to be the fourth time I've, uh, recorded this episode as, as well as the next episode. <laughs> uh, recording is kind of a funny thing. Um, the very first time I tried to do this, uh, I got uh, three episodes in uh, before I realized that the Windows latest Windows update has totally had totally reset my audio settings. Um, every now and then, a Windows update will do that. Um, it goes through and just completely wipes out all of the audio settings, uh, not only for Windows but for uh, my recording. Uh, my audio pre-processing software that I use just completely wipes them out. So I was three episodes deep whenever I went back and listened and uh, found out that I was uh, actually sounding a lot like a chipmunk. Um, then uh, got that resolved. Uh, I can't find out where this program stores the audio settings. It's not in a file in any location that I that, that's obvious to me. I I just don't know. I just don't can't fit, find it out. So basically, I took a screenshot of my setup and have to go through and manually set everything. I think it's like an open source software, so I should be able to peek in the code and figure out where um, that stuff is actually being stored. But it sure is annoying. Um, but yeah, that and uh, let's see what else happened. Oh, uh, I got that all resolved and taken care of. And the next, uh, I, I recorded a couple of other episodes, and then uh, during the time I was trying to fix the audio, I had actually had two instances of my audio software up. Uh, so basically, those those had me, I, I was a chipmunk, and then I wasn't a chipmunk anymore, but it was like there were two of me. Um, it was like I was playing multiplayer with myself, and we were just all saying the same thing at the same time. Um, but uh, And then the, the third time, um, I have a cat. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I have a cat and and that's 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 that um, so uh, basically uh, you know not, nothing's really been lost um, I've did some things basically what I did in the in the next couple of episodes is redesign this area and redesign another area and it was mostly just me trying to figure out a good way to uh, to set this stuff up so that it, it works efficiently and I think I actually got those I got some pretty good setups and um, I'm really, really good right now at, at doing this episode. I, I've had a lot of practice. Uh, so uh, we'll be able to streamline this. Uh, basically, if we take a look at this plastic setup, I've got six plants uh, to feed one blue blue belt. And it worked out really well. Uh, I had to do some shenanigans with these belt balancers um, in order to get a, kind of a more compressed line coming out. Uh, that was due to the way the belts worked. Uh, they work differently now. And plus, I wasn't very efficient with my beacon usage here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take all this out and and create a system that makes a little bit more, more sense. Uh, we'll take all this plastic out. Uh, let's see, I want to remember to get these power poles because I didn't do that in one of the parallel universes. That's what I'm referring to those as, is just parallel universes. Um, okay, and uh, let's grab the blueprint. I actually saved off the blueprint, and we will look at what I finally um, ended up with. Let's see, I think this will go right here. Let's put that there, put one here, and we'll put one here. All right, so this setup is only three instead of six uh, to get the same blue belt of output. And... Uh, Basically, what is happening here, this side is pretty much the same. The coal input coming in, uh, one single stack inserter, that is fine. Um, the output is where it's changed. So this plant has two inserters going out just to keep up the plastic, and it goes on the inside of this belt. Um, this plant goes totally on the outside of the belt, and this one splits between the two. And that gets, uh, it's not a consistently fully compressed belt, I could probably do something with the stack sizes on these inserters to, to, to optimize that a little bit better. It's not a full blue belt, but it's close to it. So in about the same amount of space, we've actually got three blue belts coming out instead of just two. 
Um, so we can come out and we will end up with six blue belts coming out instead of uh, instead of three. Instead of four, not three. And uh, that that will uh, that will increase our plastic production a bit, hopefully enough to uh, to support our science facilities that we have. Um, let's see, this one is going to go down. We're going to take this all the way down to there. It's going to go straight in. We're going to flatten that one out. Flatten that one out, and you are going to come up and be this guy. You're going to be that guy. You're going to be that guy. Um, you are that guy now. And you are that guy. We still have enough room in the system to accommodate uh, two more belts. So basically two more of these facilities if we need it and if we can get the petroleum to support it. Um, I'm taking both of these belts up because they're needed uh, from previous uh, knowledge. And uh, we're going to split this belt like that. So that will be coal coming in there. And then we'll just take this one up. That'll split off there. And you just go directly in. Split you off. And let's see, we need to do an underground for you right here for reasons that will become clear in the future. And uh, let's see, we need to get this belt coming as well. Yeah, um, as I mentioned, um, I've done this a couple of times now. And uh, I think, I, I, think I, I have a pretty clear idea of what I'm doing. See, this actually needs to come out one. You come up to here and split. Split and you end up there. All right, so that is our coal coming in and that our plastic going out. Um, petroleum. Now, what's been really strange is that this is why I don't get the fluid dynamics in this game. I have done this setup, um, I don't know how many times now, uh, three or four times, and each time I've had a different problem with the petroleum. <laughs> a brand new, uh, different problem with the petroleum. I think, okay, so... We have this big line. This is our main petroleum line up here. I was having it where it all comes down into here. And if you recall from many episodes ago, it was backing up somewhere along right here. Um, let's go ahead and take that out. So uh, I basically just cut it off there and said, okay, if you're on this side, you're going to go out on this side and, and this stuff over here. It's just backed up no matter what. I don't know if there's enough pressure or what that that's not allowing it to move right there but these these guys were just always full um so i made a cut right here so this is all fed from that side we are going to take this and do the little s thing and uh hook you up like that so that brings in this side uh this is where that underground came in earlier that's going to hook up down to there. So we're doing our S like this. This one is going to come across like this. Go up and in. Feed that side. Um, you're going to come up, feed that guy. And you're going to come up and around and feed that guy. Okay, that is good. This comes up out to here. We're going to take this guy out a little bit and take him down. And feed the other side of the S that way. And that does end up with the loop. 
And I know we're not supposed to have loops, but um, for the most part, it's worked out pretty well for all the other times I've tried it in the other parallel universes in the multiverse. Um, so yeah, half of it's coming this way, feeding from this side. The other half's coming and feeding it from this side. That should uh, balance things out fairly well. And we finished mining productivity. Again. <laughs> uh, do worker robot speed. We'll get that moving. All right, so that I think is all pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and get it powered up. That should get everything powered, except for these two down here. Get our pole there, our pole there. All right, I think that is good to go. Let's go ahead and hook up the coal and uh, we'll get plastic production. Pra plastic production producing. And we'll see how that works out. Yeah, as you can see, it's not quite a full blue belt, but um, it's getting getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. Uh, Petroleum-wise, you're looking pretty good. How are you guys over here? Be good. All right, and um, let's just have a look. See up here. I was having an issue. One of the times, uh, one in one of the parallel universes, we were having a problem with water. Okay, and it looks like um, in this parallel universe, it's it's also it's also a thing. Um, what I want to do is go ahead and bring this out. We'll feed water from the other side as well. Last time, I forgot to bring a pump. This time, I can correct the mistakes of the past. All right, we'll send water. That's coming down. Double check. Yes, that is the proper place. We'll send water in from this side as well. It's better. Yeah, that's that's doing doing a lot better in this parallel universe than it was in the last one. All right, now what is your problem? No petroleum. And we were getting no petroleum last time and it was because things were backed up. Um, now that we fixed the water problem, it looks like it may be an issue with the amount of crude coming in. We're just not getting enough crude in. All right. Um, well, that is a new problem. I'm wondering if it's because a lot of our crude is going the other way. Hmm. I don't know. I, one of the things I also kind of learned about the the fluid dynamics is sometimes if you just don't look at it, um, go, going back to kind of the quantum physics thing, if you don't look at it, it behaves differently than if you watch it. So we're just going to not look at it right now and concentrate on something else. We need to set up a facility down here for the uh, dealing of with lubricant. All right, so I'm going to take this pipe down. Do I need this? Yes, I do. Can I move it up here? Yes, I can. All right. All right, so we'll bring this down here. We need uh, uh, we need some more. We need some things. We need some beacons and stuff like that to be able to space this out properly. Beacons. We've got we've got some of those. We've got tanks. We've got pumps. We've got pumps. We've got uh, wire. We have wire. All right, so let's just uh, throw some beacons over here somewhere. It would be nice if we could take advantage of these up here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
boy, we might, but that's that's going to be it's going to be tight. I'm not I'm not too concerned about wasting this much electricity. Um, I don't think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think that will actually work. Okay, I want that. And I want a pump going that way, pump going that way. And you, I want coming back up. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's going to get stuck up in the water. Don't want that. That's going to conflict with the petroleum. There. I think that's I think that's it. Talk about some pipe spaghetti. All right, so the heavy oil is going to come down here and Come down and then back up through here in a very pipe spaghetti manner. But that's that's what we want, and that will work. Okay, let's get a tank coming out like that. Um, we want to pipe you, pipe you guys coming out, lubricant, lubricant. And that'll be lubricant. Um, we actually want to take this out a bit because we want to fit another row of beacons. Ew. Well, we can rerun this. That's not a problem. Go! And a couple of productivity modules in there. And then it's just a matter of... Oh, we made that too close. I'm going to have to take these down one. Because we need a pipe coming out that. There we go. And the tank will hook up to that. All right, groovy. Okay, let's see. Uh, power poles be pretty straightforward okay speed modules I don't have any of those in my inventory but we can get those later okay so you are going to hook up can you make it this far no you cannot we only need to hook that up okay so you are going to be active if lubricant is less than and let's do, let's do 20,000 and you are going to be active if lubricant is greater than or equal to 20,000. All right, that'll get some lubricant made. Uh, we got productivity in there, which is groovy. We just need to get some speed modules to finish that up. Let's see, we should have some right here. Forgot we have our auto construct bots over here. We could have had them on that. All right, and there is lubricant. Look at it go. And when we get it backed up here, that will be the cue to uh, cut that out and enable the uh, Enable this pipe and get the rest of it cracking out. And we'll see how that goes. How are we looking over here? Still looking a little bit light, and it looks like it's uh, totally related to crude, right? Oh, heavy oil. Hey, you guys aren't producing that fast enough. Um, what if we did, let's just take this condition off. We just, uh, disable it. Enable, disable. 
you need to just take it off the network. Okay, so you'll pump all the time. And you'll only pump if that is less than 20k. Alright, so this this one's going to be pumping constantly. And we're only going to turn this one on if uh, if we have a lot of lubricant. Alright, that, that, that should work. Let's uh, go ahead and take this on down. Now, I want... I want to move this fuel station. I wonder if we can... In, in the parallel universe, what I did was I made this fuel station way over there, but I'm wondering if I can fit it in here. Let's just see. Let's just see what that looks like if we get this guy crammed in here. Maybe right here? Ooh, that's close. Um, let's see, you got stumps. Got that signal. Boy, that's tight, but um, it looks like it'll work. Can I fit a signal in there? I can. All right. Um, I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's take this. Uh, let's just go ahead and copy this station. Blueprint has to have at least one icon. Why? Copy that station over there. You should have the... No, I didn't copy the station name. We want to copy the station name and uh, take this guy out. Let's see. We want to rename this. This is going to be Refine Lube. And uh, we can take these guys away. Take that away. Um, put the fuel in here. Go. That will... That should still be the refuel station. All right, that should make all that good. Um, it looks like it's going to skip this uh, skip this go, but uh, the next one, it should be good. Uh, we'll copy this station and place it right here. Get power hooked up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's better to have it over here, over here. I don't think it matters. It, it feels better to make that a little bit more compact. Although that is a little squished in there, isn't it? Ah, it's fine. Um, okay, so we brought lube down to here. We just need to hook it up to that. Bop, bop. And um, there we go. Now we should be filling those guys up. And we are. Hmm. Okay, now we're not getting any heavy oil at all. Um... Yeah, it's it it looks to me like it's a crude issue. What I may want to do is go ahead and speed module these guys over here. We're just not getting the flow through here. Just speed module all these guys. I think it's one of those things where we're probably actually getting enough. I don't think it's that the I don't think it's that the the oil field is depleting so much as it is that we have this additional pull of these refineries on it. Um, let's see, don't need you. All right, well, we'll just let this go for a little bit and just kind of see how that ends out, ends up working out. And, um, and that'll, that'll be just fine. All right, well, I'm going to head back to the main base and, uh, see about what we need to do next. I think uh, basically in the in one of the par in the last parallel universe we were having an issue right here with our control units and uh, I'm assuming it's still going to be an issue um, issues like that don't go away and uh, yes it definitely is 
Uh, basically, the problem we have is that we're not getting red circuits down to these further machines. And um, some of the interesting problems that come along with that particular um, idea. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.